Hey everybody, this is your 10 minute kettlebell core workout. In terms of equipment, you will need one medium to heavy weight. I would go somewhere between 15 to 25 pounds and we do not have a warm up. So if you have not done anything yet, make sure you pause me, do it first, but otherwise let's hop right into the workout. So in terms of our structure today, we have five exercises and we're gonna perform them through twice. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to rest, recover, get into the next drill. Let's break down our first one. We are starting with a goblet drop. So this is very similar to a goblet clean, but we are also going to drop at the bottom. So let's break it down. We start with that kettlebell right in between the arches of the feet. We're going to pull the ribs and the pelvis closer together, find that core tension. Send the booty back, finding your nice strong hinge. We wanna take a little bit squattier of a hinge and then squeeze the armpits down. Lift the kettlebell an inch off the mat. From here, big inhale, exhale, clean it up to the chest. Inhale again, exhale, drop it down. As you drop, you have to brace your core. That's what the exhale is for, okay? We're taking a lot of time to break this down, so we do it correctly. If we drop and we're not braced, look where all that tension's gonna go, okay? So let's try it. We're gonna go 40 seconds on the clock. If you've never done this before, I would go a little bit lighter. So bringing that kettlebell right in between the arches of the feet, we start it up in three, two, and one. So pull the ribs down, find your hinge, lift it up, big inhale. Exhale, move. Inhale again, exhale, drop. So as I drop, I'm thinking of aiming the weight behind me. Inhale, exhale up, inhale, Exhale, drop it back. Good, you have 20 more seconds here. Make sure you're using that breath every time. As we come up, I want you to think, push the floor straight down rather than the hips forward, all right? Three, two, and one. Lower it down, very nice. We're gonna start with our right arm here. We have a kneeling windmill. If you've never done this with weight before, I would say, Drop the weight for right now. Right side is up. We're gonna slide down the left leg. Elbow comes down. We bring it back up and we're gonna hold it up the whole time. Let's all go for it. We'll break it down all together. So right side is up, left side is down. We're sliding down the left leg, looking up at the weight. Elbow comes down, arm is pointed towards the opposite leg. We're gonna take a big exhale, push ourselves back up, all right? So arm is staying lifted the whole time, pointed toward the ceiling. If I turn to the side here, you're gonna notice this is a hip hinge. So I'm sending my booty back toward the heel and then popping back up, all right? We have under 10 seconds here. It's three, two, and one. Let that go. All right, standing it up. We've gotten around the world. I'm sure you've seen these on TikTok. The trick here that I want us all to start with is standing in a really bad posture, okay? From here, we're gonna pull our ribs and our pelvis closer together. You should feel your core bracing. This is how you need to stand the whole exercise. Let's grab our weight. So let's go around to the right this first time, keeping that core bracing. We're going around the world. So what we're trying to do is resist moving with the weight, right? If you are having trouble feeling your core, go back, re-arch, find that core connection again. Hold that brace as you're working through here. This is also one you can probably go heavier for the drill. So if you have something pretty light, you should still be able to brace your core, but you might want a little bit heavier so that you do have something to work against, all right? We're out of this in four, in three, in two, and one, let it go. All right, we're gonna go windmill other side. So this time left side up, right side is coming down. Um, with this drill again, if you've never done it before and you're having trouble finding that rotation from the trunk, do a body weight, no shame in that, all right? Let's start it up, press the weight up against the ceiling and we'll slide down the leg, elbow comes to the floor, booties back toward the heel, big exhale. We come back up. That bicep should be by the ear at the top and we're reaching the weight to the ceiling the whole time. So one of the biggest mistakes I see is as we come down, that arm is going all sorts of directions except for the ceiling. So we wanna make sure for safety reasons that weight is loaded vertically to our torso, no matter where we are, all right? You have less than 10 seconds. And 
and bring it down. Okay, last exercise before we go back to the top, standing halo. So again, what's the first thing we wanna do? Get that core engaged. I'm gonna grab the horns of the kettlebell and then flip it bottoms up. We're gonna go to the side, to the back, to the side, back in, all right? Let's go for it. So let's start going to the right. For this round, we'll reverse everything for the second one. And the trick here is to keep it close to your head and elbows in tight. A lot of times what I see is this, and then look at my torso. Ooh, no core is being engaged there, okay? This is why I see so often people commenting on these trendy exercises that are called functional core training on, on the TikTok. That's why I always see people saying, I don't feel my core at all. Where am I supposed to feel my core? You have to learn first how to engage your core without any external force. Good, bring it down. We're gonna go back to those goblet drops. We have about 15 seconds to get there. So before we even start this drill, set yourself up directly over your kettlebell. Find your really wrong posture and then overcorrect it. Feel that core bracing. We'll hinge it over, pull the hips down, squeeze the armpits, big inhale. Up, big inhale, exhale down, keep that going. You move on your exhale. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, all right, bring it on down. Right arm is up, right leg is up, kneeling windmill. So round two for this, um, this is not about reps. Think of this as a skill, and a skill just takes practice. So this is just practice time. We're practicing our rotation, practicing our overhead mobility, and marrying them together. So we're gonna slide down that leg, elbow comes in, drive the hips forward, come back up. Coming back up. Wow, great. <laughs> Keep it going. We're all out of this in three, in two, and one. Bring it down, we'll stand it up around the world. So this time, we're gonna go around to the left. Again, before we even start, find that braced core position, okay? So pick up your weight, soft bend in the knees, get that core engaged, and we'll start up when you're ready. You are halfway here. Check in, are you feeling your core? Maybe your weight's not heavy enough. Maybe you're standing like this. Part of core workouts is finding tension. We are out of this in five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, windmill on the left. Whoo, okay. Rest, recover. So we've got left side up. Right side is down, 10 seconds to get there. This is our last time with this. So your last chance to practice this skill today. You can always come back to this exercise or this workout. So let's rack it up, press it up overhead, look up at that weight, start it up when you're ready. We're out of this in four, three, two, and one. 
stands it up. Final exercise is our halo. So this time we're gonna go left, back, right, and in. So just reversing that circle, and then we're done for the day. So let's grab the horns. Before we even start, find that nice engaged core, and let's go for it. So we go left, back, right, and in. Keeping that direction the entire time. Ten seconds here, then we are out. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Really nice job today. So that is your 10-minute kettlebell core. There are so many other core workouts that we can do with kettlebells, but I think this gave you a little taste of all of the different variations that we can get in there. Any questions, as always, leave them in that comment box, and I will see you all in the next one.